Hi there everyone, this is Kelly Gettlefinger with Always Stampin' Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make an A2 size kite card. This card fits perfectly into Stampin' Up's medium sized envelopes or an A2 size envelope. And it's really cute, it comes from just one sheet of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Let's get started. Alright, now as I said, it's going to be a card, piece of cardstock that actually measures four and a quarter by eight and a half. And when you fold that, you're going to get four and a quarter by four and a quarter. What you're going to do next is bring in your trimmer and you're going to score, I'm sorry, pencil mark at three inches from the same point or from the same corner. Let me show you what I mean. I've got it marked here and so I'm going to pencil mark at three inches here and then I'm also going to pencil mark at three inches on this side. So one side is the fold, one side is open now the easiest way to do that is to just flip my card and mark it at three inches on the opposite side. All right. Now once we have that done, we're going to trim from the, each pencil mark to the corner, the farthest corner. So from each pencil mark to the farthest corner. Now I've done that here and it's going to look like this. Okay. Again, here's the fold and this is the opened area. All right. Now for the designer series paper, you're going to want a piece of designer series paper that measures 4 by 4 and you're going to pencil mark at two and three quarters on one side and two and three quarters on the other side. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to come in at two and three quarters and pencil mark. And we're just going to flip it just like we did with our card. Flip it and mark two and three quarters. And now we're going to trim from that pencil mark, each pencil mark, to the farthest point. Here, here, and here to here. Let's do that now. All right, there's one. And there's the other. And then as you can see, this piece fits perfectly right into our kite card, just like that. Let me show you one other option with the designer series paper. This option, you want a piece of designer series paper that measures four inches by five and a half inches. You're going to fold it long ways and mark it at two inches. Let me show you what I mean. You're going to fold it in the middle long ways. With the open side, you're going to bring it in and mark it at two inches. And now we're going to trim from each folded point to the pencil mark. Save these two corners. We're going to do it again on the opposite corner. Save these two corners. Now you have a piece, and I like this uh, method best for the stripes because, as you can see, now my stripes are all going the same way and it fits perfectly onto my kite card. Now, here's why I said to save these corners. Let me show you. 
we're going to go ahead and put on our kite tail. And now all four of these pieces are going to fit just like a puzzle onto our kite card. You're going to overlap them just a little bit, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. I've already added adhesive to these. What I'm doing is making them so that they mat perfectly on the card itself. And then I'm going to worry about those overlapping areas in just a second. I'll show you why. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but it's not perfectly meeting there. So I'm just going to take a quarter inch strip of cardstock and I'm going to trim that to a point. And just bring it right up through my kite card. I've got another one that I'm going to do the same thing. And now I'm going to trim each point here. And there we go. Pick up all our little pieces. And there you have it. Now it's just ready for you to decorate and embellish. Let me bring back the sample if I can find it. I'm honestly not sure what I've done with it. <laughs> there you go. There's your kite card, your A2 sized kite card. I hope you have a creative day.